how do you know God loves you? The cliche answer will be because he woke me up this morning or he put food on my table or anything like that. Um, but I know he loves me because despite in, in my continual sinning, sinning, he still extends his grace and mercy to me every single day. In just me basically um, being who I am, where he took me from, where I am today, I know that there is a God and I know that he loves me. And it's just very uncomfortable whenever I sin. So I know that my purpose is serving God. Okay. So how do you know you love God? It's a question I'm still asking myself daily. Mm -hmm. um, due to my... I was never exposed to God as a child growing up. Mm -hmm. um, and I went through a lot of different things that were very hurtful. And even to this day, it's still... They're still, it still hurts me, um, but I find refuge in him. He makes everything better for me. He, um, if I'm having a bad day, all I have to do is read or say the name Jesus or just think of what he has done for me and it just makes it all well. I love who he is to me. I love that he is my provider. He's there for me now when no one else was there and, um, for that, I definitely have to love him. Okay, okay. So, uh, what are some examples of your love expressed towards God? I work for him. Okay. Continuously. In his church, daily, by handing out tracts. I share his word with others. I teach my son how to be more like him. Um, by trying my best to do what it is he asks me to do. Um, and getting to know him through his word, but most of all, by working for him. Okay. Now, with the spiritual walk, uh, what has the love of God made you do? Um, are you talking about f as far as uh, speaking or whatever you whatever you take it as? Can you please repeat the question? In the spiritual walk, what has the love of God made you do? Might have been something you that you would normally do, but you. I spoke on the train. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. I okay. spoke on the train in two cars, and if I did not have God within me, there's no way I was doing that. Because even when I just started, you know, when you just when you just become a Christian and you're baptized, you know, you're still in a place where you're not too sure. And I remember my first day I handed out tracks on the 6th train going to Canal Street. And I felt so blessed inside. And um, I had the privilege to stand up in front of a whole bunch of people mm. and speak God's word to them. And it was a good experience. Okay. Um, can you love somebody you don't know? Yes, I can. How? Um... Can I, I love someone that I do not know? Um, the man on the side of the street. I have to love them. Due to the fact that, you know, God said, if you you don't love who you can see, how dare, how, therefore, how can you love me who you cannot see? Mm -hmm. And if I am experiencing God, there, then I have to love others. Um, we have to remember that we run into so many different people every day. And even... This morning on the bus, I was looking at someone and I was like, you know, this person could be one of God's angels just there in disguise and is just waiting to see how I'm going to react towards them. But yes, I definitely can love someone that I do not know. And the last question I have for you is, what is love? What is love? First of all, love comes from God. I've learned that People may say, um, I love you, I love you, I love you, and use the word so loosely, but when you, when you sit and you read, or you go through your experiences with God, 
that's how you know what love really is. When you know that despite what it is you have done, mm-hmm. this person still is there for you. Mm-hmm. He still holds your hand. He still he's your form of refuge even in your in your worst state. Um Love is God. Love is God. Um, and in order for you to really, truly, truly love someone, you have to know who God is. Because that's an unconditional love. A love that passes all understanding. Okay. Joke like a true, a true prophet, right? Okay, man. 